Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, we are building a home for 8 Sims. And originally in my head, I was going to keep the starter home price um, for 8 Sims. So basically you get 34,000 simoleons, but obviously with the lot tax, we got 32,000. And I already knew in the beginning, like I made this way too big for it to be only that amount of money. Um, so obviously like I would have to shrink it, but then I ended up liking the shape. So I decided that, you know what, I'm going to use whatever budget I want. You know, this is like your dream eight sim home, I guess, um, because you don't really have a budget, I suppose. So I will do this again, but actually stick to the budget. And when I do that, I feel like I probably need to keep it one story maybe and obviously have the children or the kids share a room because like it's gonna be hard it's gonna be too hard to make separate rooms you know it would get like way too big but yeah I just really like the shape and I haven't like built I would say like a house this big in a while in my opinion um but yeah, it's just, I don't know, there are a lot. I will say I kept the cluttering to a minimal. Um, so I don't think I really went that hard into the cluttering as I usually do. Um, especially, I just don't, you'll see. It's, I don't think it's that cluttered in my opinion. Um, it did still take me three hours and 30 minutes. So I feel like cluttering it minimally was probably the reason because I feel like with the house this big it would probably take me longer and like last week I'm pretty sure I posted a video that's one story that took me like three hours so our two videos that are one story pretty small I would say or medium I guess I don't know and it took me like three hours and I'm like oh that's just a one story house and this is a two story house so yeah I guess like cluttering is my problem maybe I don't I don't know but there are six bedrooms and five bathrooms um so yeah and I feel like you need like all the bathrooms you can get because it's just this is such a like the household is full like you let, like a lot of people are probably going to be like on the same schedule or close to the same schedule they'll probably have to like use the bathroom at the same time whether that's pee take a shower etc so downstairs I put like a longer bathroom and I kind of separated the toilet area and then I used that shower from Snowy Escape which I think is supposed to like not give you the embarrassed movement because it's supposed to be like private obviously it's an open shower but you know everyone can be in there if they need to like you can use the bathroom you could take a shower you could brush your teeth wash your hands um I guess practice your speech in the mirror and yeah, I just feel like playing with six, or not six, I feel like eight sims, like playing with eight sims is like so much, like I feel like it's so overwhelming and I just don't know how people do it. Like um, in my career legacy challenge, um, I don't even know where to start, but like um, basically I had to have like six kids. So I had a full household and I ended up deleting two of the kids because I just couldn't take it anymore. Even with cheats, I just, I just couldn't do it anymore. I just didn't want it. Um, and also on my PS4, the family I have here now is my Sims and Bloom family from my PS4. Um, they only had seven, um, people in the household. Um, but I remember then I was like always cheating their needs because I just did not care. I was like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm here to have a good time, not a hard time. Um, so yeah, I just feel like if I had eight Sims, like I will probably cheat their needs a lot, especially if you leave the lot and come back because if you come back at like 11 p.m., everyone needs are up. Like you're, you shouldn't be this fully rested, you know? Like I just, I don't think that makes sense. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, downstairs we have a room for a toddler, um, and, uh, I guess, okay, look, my idea for eight Sims was to have two grandparents, two parents, and then, like, four children, um, but it seems like, I feel like the downstairs bedroom that I was supposed to make for grandparents kind of turned out giving teenager room vibes it doesn't have to be because it's pretty simple again like it's very minimal in there 
but for some reason it's just giving me teenager vibes but we can just pretend that it's for our grandparents or we could say maybe two teens just have to share a room they just have to share a bed it's very unfortunate but it is what it is um and yeah I really wanted to have some yellow accents just because it's my favorite color um and yeah so in the kitchen I I kind of jump all over the place a little bit um but yeah I use the home chef hustle stuff because it's so cute and I don't know how like realistic it is to like walk into the kitchen space um um I don't know I feel like in apartments maybe yes but I'm not sure about a house I don't think I ever walked into a kitchen um through the front door you know like I don't know but it's fine it's the sims I don't think it's that serious I think the layout is pretty nice um, but right now it seems like I am figuring out the windows. I also only show you one bathroom and that's the biggest bathroom upstairs. I didn't think you need to like watch me do the bathrooms five times. Like that's a little too much. Um, very annoying, but yeah, I like this house. I think it's cute. It's fine. It's pretty big. Um, I don't, hopefully you get some use out of it. Um, I will say I do have a favorite room, a couple of favorites. I guess I really like what I did with the toddler's room. I think that was fun. I used like the blue and oranges swatch from the base game Kinder Maid thingy. Um, I guess because they have like a whole Kinder Maid collection. So I guess I used that stuff. Um, and also the main bedroom is pretty small. They have a closet. I just wanted to mention that because I'm like, oh yeah, their bedroom is so small. It's kind of sad since it's the main bedroom, but I guess it can be fine, right? It's fine. It's cool. It's okay. Um, I also like the second kid's bedroom that I decorated. Um, so yeah, I'm still figuring out the windows. It looks like we have an office space, so that's fun. Um, and yeah, I don't really know. Um, anyways, I will say at the time I'm making this video, um, the kids are supposed to come out today, the new creator kids. Um, and I just want to say I hate Spectrum so much. Like, of course, on the day where I want to make a video for it, there's an outage. There's literally an outage for Spectrum every week. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, why? It's like, I just don't understand why there's so many outages. Like, are you, did you not fix it correctly? Like, it's every week. Like, it works and then out of one day of the week, it stops working. So, I'm just confused. Like, is it fixed or not? Like, what are you doing? I just don't know what the problem is. But now we're working on the living room. Hopefully, I stick to the inside for right now. I also thought I would mention that this video is going like... A little bit faster so I usually do like five times speed but instead I'm, I think I'm doing 6.2 speed I don't know but I use like the frame TV in here I did end up like sizing it up and yeah that's pretty much it I also got like a floating cabinet under t under the TV I was gonna use this one from the basement treasures kit but I was like maybe not maybe it will be fine um but yeah just trying to figure out the layout I feel like I don't use this like couch and chair setup from growing together that much so I wanted to use it here so I did and I just got like a gold lamp and I will say like the floor plan I think I like the floor plan um I think I probably did cut me figuring it out out of the speed build so you probably saw me do it one time I think and then like the rest just got cut out because I couldn't figure out where to put the staircase um that was pretty rough um also I guess I don't know like part of me is thinking like maybe I should have switched the grandparents and toddlers bedroom out or not out but like switch them so that way the toddler is in the back but it's fine it's just I thought maybe the grandparents deserved their own bathroom because they do have an ensuite so that is nice and I did clutter up the kitchen a little bit but again it's very minimal I feel like I probably would have done a lot more and also so we have these like stackable plates now I'm pretty sure the first stackable plates we got were from horse ranch well I think we only have two so I'm pretty sure it's just horse ranch 
and Home Chef Hustle. But the thing about those is like nothing, like you can stack things on them, but like if you paint a wall, oh, it gets deleted. So um, upstairs when I do the first kid's bedroom, I painted their walls, it got deleted. So in the end, I was like, okay, fine. You can have one set of plates. I just, I don't know why they can't fix that because like, what's the whole point? Like, what's the point of being able to stack things on top of them if it doesn't work? I just, it's so annoying. Um, it really bothers me, but yeah, anyways, now we're working on the tiny little entranceway. Um, I guess I could put a, win a window right there. I don't know. I wasn't thinking about it, but yeah, right now I'm pretty sure I put like a placement wallpaper so we probably should be changing that soon and I think later in the build we add some like accent walls not too later not too later I guess I don't know um but yeah I just I wasn't so sure about like the beigey brown color um I just wasn't sure and then we got um a table in here so they can walk past this so that is good it's very tight but it does work thankfully um, I also do have a bathroom next to the kitchen. Um, so yeah, I put like a bathtub in there because I think that would be good for the toddler. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm doing a lot of rambling about nothing right now, but I just, I really hope my internet comes on before the packs come out because I don't know, it would just be nice. Also, I'm not done with my schoolwork. Um, I think I just have like two more things to do no three more things actually something is due today so yeah i'm gonna really need the internet to come back on i just have like this one class where something is due on a thursday and a tuesday which is weird i don't know why you would make something due so early in the week especially on a tuesday like but i guess it's fine but yeah it's just it all sucks. Also, I put like the kids activity table down here. So I thought that was very fun um, for them to like hang up their art stuff. And I kind of made it like a chalk wall. So that is nice. And then on this wall, I think I get like two of those like book frame things. I don't know. Anyways, I imagine one is a quote and one is like the book cover. And then we're working on the office. So in here, I put like the bonsai tree. Um, I put an easel, I put a guitar, I put bookshelves, I put a chair with like the knitting basket because I was like, oh, it would be very fun if, you know, um, I guess your grandparents knit. Anyways, when I feel, I feel like when I was building this house, like since I used my Sims and Bloom family, I kind of tried to go for that vibes in some places. So the grandparents room, their room was purple because they are the lavender generation, so I made it purple. And upstairs for the first kid's room, they are the blue generation, so, are the forget-me-not generation, so their colors are blue and yellow, so that's kind of what the vibe I went for down there. And that's pretty much it, um, because the parents of this household is supposed to be like the, well, no, actually, this is a very generic house. It's not for them. I was just kind of getting inspiration from some parts of the family with like the purple grandparent bedroom and the forget me not blue and yellow bedroom. Anyways, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And in the, in the last kids room I built, I went for, it's kind of chaotic. Um, you'll see. Um, but I use like that um wallpaper from decor to the max. And yeah, um, obviously right now we're at 1,000 simoleons, so it's just, it's so sad. Um, anyways, I should have just, I was trying to be like, okay, what if it's like 75,000? Yeah, this build is 115,000, so the, the budget is just way out of the window. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, I feel like, I don't know, I guess if you're in the start of your family and you want to get like eight sims, you're probably... Like, if you're in the first generation and you have eight sims, like, I guess, I mean, you can do things to get that much amount of money, though, you know? You can just sell an outfit on Trendy and it will be fine, right? Um, it will be totally fine, but, yeah, um, I like the purple in here. Purple is such a beautiful color. It's so cute, um, but, yeah, for some reason, I feel like, um, this is, like, definitely better for a teenager. I think part of the reason is because I put like the clothing rack 
from high school years. So yeah, it's definitely giving teenager vibes. So as I said, maybe they just have to share a room. Maybe they're twins and they just have to share. And that's just, it's, they have no privacy, unfortunately, but sometimes it is what it is. Okay. But it's fine. Anyways, they have an ensuite bathroom. That's not, I would love to have my own ensuite bathroom. Like, could you imagine? That would be so nice. Um, I don't know. Cause it's just like sharing a bathroom with people. It can definitely be annoying if like, it's just, it can be annoying if they get like hair everywhere. They don't clean it up. Um, I am speaking from experience. Um, I am talking about my brother, but yeah, it's just, you know, like you're getting hair everywhere, but we're working on the toddler's room. It's pretty big. Um, I feel like I was kind of struggling with that, at least in like the entrance part of the room, because I feel like you can't really put much because there's a door right there and I don't want it to be blocked, obviously. So yeah, but I love the color scheme. It's cute. It's very nice, the orange and the blue, I guess. Um, and I got some shelves. I put these two half or quarter, quarter cir circle thingies. Um, I got like this mat from growing together as like a play mat. I just put toys on there. So basically that, um, we got some pictures. I got like the height chart. They have a dresser. They pretty much have everything they need in this room except for a potty. I just remembered that there's no potty. Oh my gosh. That's embarrassing. Wow. Toddlers. I just, they're fine. You can change their diaper. I actually put a changing table because I thought it would help take up some room, um, but yeah, they don't have a potty, so I forgot about that. Also, there's no high chair, but I don't really use that in my own gameplay, so I just didn't think it would be helpful. They have like a penguin TV, so that's good. I ended up putting this chair behind the bed. Um, that is also good, and to take out wall space, I was like, maybe I can just put this shelf thingy. Maybe that will be fine. Um, find? Fine. I mean, I'm sorry. And I do want to say it is raining at the moment. It did kind of slow down, but if you like hear any noises, it's probably just the rain, but it's very light right now. So you probably can't hear it at the moment, but yeah. Um, anyways, um, I will say one annoying thing about not having internet is sometimes the game, it actually, I don't even know why I say sometimes it just doesn't open. Um, like no matter what I do, it just, it does not open. Like I literally need to turn on my hotspot in order for it to work. And I just, I don't get that, you know, it's just like, why? What's the point? Like you, you, you don't need internet to play the Sims. Just let me open my game. Like it's terrible. But now we're moving on up to that blue and yellow um, bedroom. So it's pretty simple in here. Like it's actually very simple in here. And I also wanted to use like the party essential stuff in some rooms because I just never use that stuff. So I kind of wanted to put it to use. So in the bedroom in front of this, I put like that backdrop and I put like the LED thingies. And then in the last room, I used those like LED strings, I guess, if you want to call it. But yeah, in here is pretty simple. There's, I guess, a lot of I don't know about the wallpaper. I don't know if the wallpaper is the right color. And I also don't know if I change it. But I gave them like the void critter station. Um, I gave them a mirror and a dresser probably. Also, the growing together curtains are so annoying. Like I never use them and like part of me thinks like they can be cute. Except it's just like when you put things in front of them, it gets like this very dark shadow. And I just really wish they could fix that. I don't know why they made it the way they did, but it's kind of annoying. I also gave them a fishbowl, um, a diary, or a journal, I guess. The bubble thingy, a cork board, and some posters. Or actually, yeah, the tooth, the tooth posters, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple in here. Um, over here, I imagine I probably got a toy box and a giraffe, it seems. And then we're moving on to the next room. So yeah, um, as you can tell, it was very, very simple. 
Um, in here is the, um, it's just, an, it's another kid's room. It's not really made for someone, but again, it's very generic, but I went for this very beautiful sunset theme and I thought that was cute. So I used like this horse ranch rug. Um, I used the animal one cause I thought that was like a little bit better, um, with all the sheeps on it. I think that is cute. Um, but yeah, this room is very small, um, so it's very unfortunate for them, but it's good. It's good in size. I gave them, like, the puppet thingy from the kids stuff pack, um, because I never used that, so I finally got a chance to use it. Um, I just, like, scooted it into the corner over there. I gave them, like, a nice little desk area, and that's pretty much in this room. I don't think they have much more. I think I probably gave them, like, Blarfy or something, and that's pretty much it but I don't know I don't think I ever use like this sunset wallpaper so it's pretty nice I'm thinking for like the not so berry challenge this wallpaper could be good for the peach generation because it has like the orange it has like the pink and I don't think there's many peach colors in the game I'm thinking of like that wallpaper from the pastel pop kit but that's probably it like you probably want to change it up sometimes um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it for this room. And now we're moving on to the last child's room. And I used like that green color. Um, but yeah, I think I ended up, yeah, I already told you, I used like the decor to the max, um, wallpaper, the tigers. So that is the color scheme of this room. It's very funky. Um, I guess at this point in the build, it, things just got a little bit weird. I don't know if you would probably actually use this bedroom for one of your children um it seems out of it's just probably not your style and I can see why um <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this room it's definitely not my favorite I will say that like I don't know I definitely could have used the led lights a little bit better if I didn't use this wallpaper and at this point I was like trying to see if I could use like the streamers as like um a curtain but no it clips unfortunately and yeah can I just say it's so hard to drink water I don't know I feel like for one I'm not really much of like I don't know like I'm not much of a drinker if that makes sense like I just like this is bad don't judge me I know I know I know it's bad but I could probably have like a 24 ounce or maybe 20 ounce I don't know how many ounces is it 16 ounces probably 16 ounces but I could probably drink something that is 16 ounces and like spread it throughout the whole day um or just drink that's the only thing that I drink I don't know it's it's bad I know like it's terrible like having one soda bottle is terrible for you obviously um, but yeah, I'm just not much of a drinker, so, like, water, it's just, it has no taste, it's just, it's so bad, I know, I'm trying to do better, I'm trying to do better, no, better, um, hopefully, so I only have, like, two more sprites left, um, so after that, like, me and my mom were like, we're not gonna buy any more soda, so we, we shall see how that goes, um, but yeah, just, it's so hard, I don't know how people do it, like, when I drink it, like, part of the other problem is I feel like it really doesn't, like, quench your thirst. So, like, if you wake up in the middle of the night with, like, a dry throat or whatever, it's not gonna help, you know what I mean? I feel like it's gonna make you more thirsty. Like, it's not gonna, you know, it's just, you're still gonna have a dry throat, basically, is what I'm saying. Like, I just don't think it really helps with that. Like, am I tripping? Um, am I drinking the wrong water? It's just, it's spring water. It's great value though, but it's just, it's not good. Um, I don't know. It's just, yeah, that's, I don't, anyways, I'm sorry. We're moving on to the very small parents' bedroom. So yeah, they don't really have much going on in here. It's pretty boring. Oh, I did give them a fireplace though. So hopefully that does not catch on fire. It's pretty close to the rug, but... It's not touching the rug, so hopefully it is fine. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty simple bedroom, honestly. Um, it's just small, but I guess that's not a good 
I guess that's not a bad thing. Sometimes I tend to make bedrooms a little too big and I'm like, I have no idea what to do with this space. Um, there's not much to put here, but in the hallway, I just put like the family bulletin board. I put like a little table. I'm pretty sure I probably get like a bookshelf, um, another thermostat, and probably some more photo collages. Um, and I also put like the that toy basket because I was like, maybe they, I don't know, how don't have any other room for their toys. So it's just in the hallway. I don't know, but that was a thought. <laughs> um, and then outside, um, um, outside. Okay. I'm sorry. Anyways, outside, um, I put a pool. So that is fun. I was just checking out the price. I don't know. I was really like, um, maybe this could be like 80,000 simoleons, maybe 85,000 simoleons. That's not the worst, but no. Yeah. It's 115. It's terrible. I know. I'm so sorry. I also gave them like a grill. I gave them a seating area. I also decided to put like a back porch through the office space because there was no other way to get back there. So I guess that's one thing that I kind of forgot about. Um, I gave them like a sitting area. I was kind of thinking like, oh, in lounge chairs and gardening pots. But yeah, I was also trying to think like, I was kind of trying to put like a hot tub, but I didn't. Also, um, I don't know if you know this, but if you hold shift, when you have like the pull trims on, you can like place them on one side. And I feel like every single time I make a pull, I forget about that. Um, just because like, I don't know, like part of me, like, especially when using the newer one, cause it's like so thick and it like cuts through the fence. If you have one, I always hate that. And I just remembered or learned today that if you hold shift, you can only, or you can place it on one side only. So I really need to remember that because sometimes I want to use like the thicker pull trim, except it shows through the other side of the fence so I could just pull shift and it will place on that one side where I need it um so yeah I have to remember to do that I just forget um but yeah um I was also kind of thinking about putting a swing set but I feel like it really did not work how I wanted it to and I put like some budget I put some bushes obviously um just working on the landscaping at the moment it's pretty simple I guess I suppose but yeah, I don't know. The landscaping is pretty simple. It's not my favorite, I will say. I definitely feel like I probably done better, but it's fine. It is what it is. Um, and I think I also shrink, yeah, the sitting area but before behind in front of the pool. I don't know my words anymore. Um, but yeah, I was trying to make this work, but I just wasn't sure if it looked good and if it was right. Um, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I feel like it needs to be like against a fence or something. Um, but it wasn't. And then I also randomly put like a chess table right here at the end because I was like, oh, this spot is still empty. I don't really know what to do with it. Um, and I also was thinking of putting a monkey, um, thingy, a monkey bar, but I wasn't, I don't think it worked either. So I don't think the kids have anything to do outside. Um, oh, I actually did put a basketball hoop in the front. So I guess they can do that. And I put some bikes so they could bike, they could play basketball, they could swim in the pool, um, all that fun stuff. They could help garden. That's also nice, I suppose. But yeah, anyways, I actually, I'm surprised I didn't save the trees for last because usually that's what I do. I just like save them for last because I don't know. I don't, sometimes I just feel like I don't know where to put the trees. I feel like they don't work some places. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm so sorry for this video. I feel like at this point I'm just like talking until the end because we only have three more minutes so I'm like I don't really know what to say anymore um but I just hope my internet comes back on I'm sorry to complain but that's all I can think about like why is it doing this to me um currently it is 10 58 so the pack will come out in about two hours so you know I'm just hoping that it comes back on like can they even work on it when it's raining the thing is it's like it stopped working at like 
I want to say 1.40ish a.m. So, like, surely they didn't, like, do something to it or work on it in the middle of the night because that's, that's just, you're supposed to be asleep. So, like, part of me is, like, did something happen? Like, what was it? Like, but I'm just saying, like, they have an outage every week, though. So, surely it's just, like, are we putting it back together correctly? I don't, I don't know. It's just, I really wish they would fix it and I really wish there wasn't an outage every week. Um, can you like stop? It's so annoying. Like, oh, the internet is back on. And then next week there's a day where it's off and it's like, can you like, I just, I don't know. I just, I just want to be back to normal, you know? Um, it, it's definitely doesn't feel back to normal ever since the Helene storm, um, with the outages every week. But anyways, we're kind of wrapping up the build. Um, I say kind of, we do have two more minutes. So I am finally working on the bathroom. Um, I honestly was not looking forward to decorating these five bathrooms because they're so simple, you know, like it's just the bathroom. They're not that fun. Like it's very simple, especially the smaller ones, because usually it's just like the same layout over and over again. So, and also I kind of like copied the parents' bathroom and moved it down to the teens' bathroom because they're the same size. Um, I just had to like switch things around obviously, but yeah, this is just simple, you know, not really interesting in any kind of way. It's just the bathroom, pretty boring. So we shall be moving on pretty soon. Um, right now I'm just doing the terrain paint, getting the last touches on this build, um, I will say, like, I feel like a lot of the times when I build or play in Cottage Living or Hanford on Bagley, the terrain paint deletes, um, when reloading. So I feel like that just sucks. It's, it's kind of insane, but I should go into game and give you guys the tour. And I do want to say, like, after I did my voiceover, the internet was on, thankfully. So I guess I should probably do some of my schoolwork, which I, I'm not looking forward to it. So I built it here in Willow Creek. So here is the build. It's pretty cute. Um, I probably shouldn't say that about my own build, but in the front, you can see we have our basketball courts. We have some bikes in the front as well. Some music, some chairs. And then in the back, we have some garden pots. We also have a trash can, a grill, a sitting area, some more garden pots. And then over here is our pool with our lounge chairs, our chest table, and our seating area. But once you walk in, you have this very small entryway. On your left, you have a pretty nice sized kitchen. Um, So it's very cute. I like it. You can cook on this counter. You can also cook on these counters. And then next to it, we just have this bathroom. My sins are in it, so please excuse that. But yeah, it's a very simple. We have our little dining room. We have a little place for the kids. And then over here is our living room space. So as you can see, I did kind of minimally clutter. So we just have like one book thingy right here. And also there's no clutter on this shelf. But in the office space, we have a guitar, an easel, the bonsai tree, our knitted stuff, and a mirror. So you can like practice your dancing or your acting if you wanted to. And then over here is the long bathroom that I was talking about in the beginning so we have like this shower space we have our separate toilet area and then we just have our sink and then back here through these rooms this is the toddler's bedroom i like it i love the color scheme that we went for in here it's very cute very nice love it pretty sweet and then this is like supposed to be the grandparents bedroom so they have like some yoga and some clothes so very simple this is their ensuite bathroom um so they have everything they need and then upstairs we have a very big hallway but this is like the last child's bedroom that I decorated so they have like the scouts board and they have a desk a dresser again pretty simple in here this is the other child's bedroom so right now she's doing like a little puppet show this is the bedroom I like it it's pretty fun I think I liked using this maybe we can watch the puppet show 
what's going on? <laughs> Tell me. I actually can't hear. I do not have my headphones on at the moment. And then this is like the first kid's bedroom that we decorated. So we have like the void cutter machine. Pretty nice, pretty simple. We have the family bulletin board in the hallway. This is the biggest bathroom that we have. So it's cute. This is probably like the most clutter I ever did. Um, And then this is the parents' bedroom. Again, it's pretty simple. They have a fireplace with a closet. And then this is their ensuite bathroom. So I think I showed you everything, hopefully. So this is just what it looks like from the top view. Um, Hopefully it's okay and it works for you. So I will upload it to the gallery. I should probably clean it up. You probably don't want this random child painting. Hopefully there's not another mess. There is another mess, but like, I'm trying to figure out where he got that from. We're just gonna put this in our inventory as well. So I just called it home for eight. There is six bedrooms, five bathrooms. And as you can tell, it's 115,000 simoleons. I'm so, so sorry. If you wanna download it, my gallery ID is just Sims Delicious. And obviously this was not pack limited, but I'm planning to do a pack limited at home pretty soon. So hopefully that is okay. Okay. But I'm gonna end the video off here. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!